Welcome back again. Man United injury news and expected return dates, including Luke Shaw and Mason Mount Manchester United host Brighton in the Premier League on Saturday, with Eric Ten Hag's men out to bounce back after taking just six points from their first four games. Manchester United are already under pressure after a dicey start to Premier League season, so Eric Ten Hag could have done without any further headaches arising from the international break. Instead, Harry Maguire was thrust back into the spotlight for the wrong reasons following his own goal against Scotland. Winger Anthony, meanwhile, was stood down from the Brazil squad, and then by his club, as he deals with allegations of domestic violence. He will be unavailable for Saturday's clash against Brighton, where United will want to build on a total of six points from four games. Ten Hag also has a number of players ruled out with injury, whilst others look touch and go. The Dutch boss will be desperate, therefore, that all his stars who reported for international duty return fit and healthy this week. Especially given that following the trip to Brighton, United returned to the Champions League on Tuesday with a trip to Bayern Munich. Here is a rundown of the state of play concerning United's injured stars, Mason Mount. The 58 million signing has missed United's last two games with the hamstring injury he picked up against Tottenham, but has now returned to full training. Eric Ten Hag has previously dismissed questions on when Mount would be fit again, but after his latest scan provided positive news, the Dutch boss has a decision to make over whether the former Chelsea man is involved for the visit of Brighton on Saturday. Should Ten Hag take the cautious option and leave him out, then Mount will almost certainly return to the squad for United's visit to Bayern Munich next Wednesday. Luke Shaw, like Mount, Shaw has been ruled out since the defeat at Tottenham. He left the field with a muscular problem in North London, which also scuppered his place in the recent England squad. Ten Hag has admitted Shaw will be absent for some period, and indeed, the left-back is yet to return to training. No set date has been put on his recovery, but he's not expected to feature for the Red Devils any time before October. Terrell Malaysia, with Shaw sidelined, Ten Hag could do with backup option Terrell Malaysia being fit and available. No such luck with the 24-year-old still struggling with muscular problem that saw him miss the preseason matches, and it remains unclear when he'll be back. When asked late last month if Malaysia was in a position to fill Shaw's void any time soon, Ten Hag said, It will take a few weeks before he will be back. Definitely, we have solutions in our squad to cope with that. We thought before the season about this scenario, what could happen? You hope to avoid this scenario, that's also clear, but if it happens, you have to be ready for it, and we are ready to deal with it, Sofyan Amrabat. Having finally got a loan deal for Sofyan Amrabat over the line, Ten Hag would have felt pangs of anxiety to learn he'd withdrawn from Morocco's international camp with a back injury. National coach Walid Regregi, however, moved to reassure the club it was a precautionary measure after the midfielder felt something. Indeed, Amrabat has received treatment in Carrington this week and trained with his new teammates. He's expected to be available and involved against the Seagulls. Lisandro Martinez. Martinez was forced off against Arsenal with a foot injury, but was still included in the Argentinian squad for the games against Ecuador and Bolivia. But he didn't feature in either, despite writing, Ready for What's Coming, on Instagram, ahead of the latter clash after taking part in full training. The centre-back, however, is expected to be fit to face Brighton this Saturday. Otherwise, the Red Devils face something of a mini-defensive crisis. Rafael Varane. That potential crisis is partly due to the muscle injury Varane picked up during last month's 3-2 win over Nottingham Forest. Ten Hag initially implied it was a precaution to take him off, saying, He had complaints so we didn't want to risk him. We know we have Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof, good replacements. So we don't take the risk, but what the complaint is, and if it is really bad, we don't know. We have to wait.
The injury has proved worse than first feared, and no date has been set for a return for the French international. Like fellow defender Shaw, he's not expected to be seen in a United shirt during September, Kabi Mainu, another who has been unavailable since preseason after suffering an ankle injury. However, the 18-year-old is back in training and is currently 50-50 to provide his manager with a squad option on Saturday. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag introduces new rule change at Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag continues to impose his authority at Man United as the club maximizes their new nutritional strategy. Manchester United players are leaving the club's Carrington training complex later now as they are kept in for lunchtime meals. United are maximizing their recently refurbished canteen and new head chef Omar Mezian as part of manager Eric Ten Hag's nutritional drive. Ten Hag identified nutrition as one of the three key areas United were flagging in when he took over in May 2022 and Mezian was hired from the Football Association earlier this year. United players are now leaving Carrington at around 2 p.m. when they were previously free to depart at lunchtime. Many would often dine in restaurants in nearby Hale or Alderley Edge, but restaurateurs in Cheshire's Golden Triangle have complained at the sudden absence of United players in the villages during daytime. None of the United players have grumbled about Ten Hag's tweak to their training schedule. Ed Leng was promoted to the head of physical performance in March after spending nearly four years as United's lead sports scientist, and United made modifications to their nutritional analysis at the start of their pre-season tour of the United States in July. Players started to wear continuous blood glucose monitors to study their individual nutrition strategy on match day, as well as sweat patches to analyze their hydration levels. United staff have backed Ten Hag unequivocally with a football-first strategy which has involved changing the home dugout at Old Trafford, the restoration of the players' lone gate at the stadium, a tiered briefing room at Carrington, and additional developments at the training ground, again and again. You can ask yourself why Anthony Martial left Manchester United training ground. After five minutes arrived... Anthony Martial arrived at Man United's training ground just before 9 a.m., but left five minutes later. Anthony Martial left Manchester United's Carrington training complex as he arrived at the wrong time. Eyewitnesses have told the Manchester Evening News Martial turned up at Carrington at 8.56 a.m. and left at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning after he was informed training was later in the day. United players reported for training on Monday at 12.30 p.m., but were due in on Tuesday at 9 a.m. United players started arriving at 11.30 a.m., and Marshall returned at 12.23 p.m. So, Marshall started the last two games against Nottingham Forest and Arsenal, but failed to score and was substituted in both. The 27-year-old is likely to make way for new £72 million striker Rasmus Hoylund, who could make his full United debut against Brighton at Old Trafford on Saturday. Marshall has scored 17 goals for United in the last three years and has not completed 90 minutes in a Premier League match since the home defeat to Sheffield United in January 2021. United were open to selling Marshall in the summer, but he tore his hamstring in the final league match of last season against Fulham and did not play during preseason. The Frenchman is out of contract next summer, and although United have the option of an additional year, Marshall could be released if his stagnation continues. Again and again, Dimitar Berbatov tells Jaden Sancho how Sir Alex Ferguson would have dealt with him. Man United winger. Jaden Sancho will not take part in first-team training until further notice after calling out Eric Ten Hag. Dimitar Berbatov believes Sir Alex Ferguson would have made the same decision as Eric Ten Hag after the manager removed Jaden Sancho from the first team. Sancho caused a storm following United's 3-1 defeat to Arsenal before the international break after he publicly challenged Ten Hag. The manager said he left the winger at home due to poor performances in training, which Sancho disagreed with in a now deleted tweet saying he would not be made a scapegoat. It was announced on Thursday that Sancho will train individually for an indefinite period of time and won't be available for selection.
It's a decision that former striker Berbatov backs and believes legendary manager Ferguson would as well. I will not be surprised if Sancho struggles to get game time for United from here, Berbatov told Betfair. Players sometimes think they are really important and they can change something when they speak publicly. In reality, they only make the situation worse. In this case, I did not like what happened, and Sancho should have gone directly to Eric Ten Hag and spoken to him man to man. Things could go either way now. If the manager likes you as a player, even if you make mistakes along the way, it will be easier for him to forgive you, keep you around, and continue to give you another chance. If he doesn't like you, then the situation becomes difficult. You will need to work even harder to get back into the team.